Hey everyone, it's Sophia and I'm back again with another video. In the last video, we pretty much talked about before you get to Berkeley, I talked about orientation week, I talked about the school itself. So if you have not seen that video, I would recommend you go to my YouTube channel and check that video out. For all of you that don't know me, my name's Sophia. I'm a four semester Berkeley student. I'm a transfer student. I am studying songwriting and minoring in recording and production for musicians and I'm a vocalist. Disclaimer again, this is all based on my experience. This is based on my opinions and my outlook and my perspective. So you may have a completely different experience or somebody else I went to Berkeley may have had a completely different experience and experience that I'm having and that I'm describing. I mean, one of my biggest mistakes was thinking, okay, I have so much time here. I'm just going to wait to get involved. I just want to be in school. I don't know why that was my thought process. What I would recommend though is to get involved when you start. Start collabing, start writing songs and start recording songs. Start writing parts, start composing, start arranging. Whatever tickles your fancy, start doing that. Even if you choose to not be part of things because you feel like you don't have time or you don't get into things, auditioning is still experience. Oh my God. She has a baby. Sorry, I just saw someone I knew. Okay, whatever. When you get to Berkeley, start asking around for GB. Basically, you can audition to be in wedding bands and find out what students are playing in those bands and then find out how you can audition for them. That's a big that's a big way to get that's a big way to get a lot of money also. Get involved in that. The way that most students really figure out what's going on is by talking to people. You don't get an email that says audition for this ensemble. You hear it by like word of mouth. So you need to know the people that are gonna be involved in ensembles. Once you get into one, then you start meeting people that are gonna know about another one. You find out by connections. So get to know people, showcase your talent whenever you can. I don't think all your focus should go into ensembles because once Berkeley is over, no one's gonna be like, oh my gosh, she was in the Michael Jackson ensemble, so we definitely need to have her. See these ensembles as opportunities to build experience more than they're going to boost up your resume. It means a lot in Berkeley, like everyone's like, oh my God, she was in that, blah, blah, blah. But outside of it, it doesn't mean much. It's more to get your face out there. There's cap shows that you can audition for. Every night at like 10 to 11, there'll be a show. No, they're not all good. There's posters always posted all over the school for people looking for a new person to be a part of a band, for people looking for somebody they need on a recording, things outside of school and inside of school. Treat everyone kindly. Treat your professors kindly. There's no reason to not treat people kindly in the first place. I don't really understand people who are rude for no reason. You yourself, you're your brand. How you carry yourself, how you speak, how you act, how you maneuver, those things represent your brand. If things spread by word of mouth, your character is gonna spread by word of mouth. It's it's not that hard. It's like literal, just regular human manners that you would be surprised a lot of people do not have. Carry yourself in the way that you want to be remembered. So I wanted to talk about where my time goes. I'm just gonna be singing all the time and doing music and just feeling so motivated, learning instruments and being with my friends, hanging out, going to the park, going to museums and, and doing crazy, I don't know, hanging out, eating good food. And you don't have as much time as I think you do. So if you are bad with time management, I would say work on that now because that's not gonna work in your favor. Your time isn't very like free. Homework and practicing is pretty much where your time goes. With that being said, I think it's hard to manage a lifestyle of going out constantly. Like if you wanna party a lot, it's gonna be really hard to manage that and your schoolwork and keep them both up here. Also, let me explain to you right now that the party scene in Berkeley is not that crazy at all. These ragers, where everyone's like, whoa, that's party. You know, someone's upside down on a keg. It's not what's happening there. No, somehow somebody ends up playing an instrument, <sighs> which is great. We really cannot do anything but play. <laughs> it's crazy. If you do think that you're gonna be living in a fairy tale land where you have like eight hours to just chill doing nothing, it's not really like that. Or at least it wasn't like that for me. Okay, let's get to the food. Keep in mind that things close early. So in terms of food, there you may be disappointed. Next to Berkeley, there's a Tate. The Tate closes at four o'clock. I was shook. You can get a meal plan with the calf. Calf food, what is to be expected? My personal opinion, 
but that's just me that's just me i think it's really not the best you know what i don't think it's good i'm not gonna lie i don't think it's good at all i do think their burgers are good is it better than high school food yes of course it's better than high school food i really don't like it no. but some people love it some people find like their one dish and they can eat that every day and that's like the one dish they know is good i prefer to go to the supermarket buy food and make food that i know i'm gonna like no 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 but maybe yes for you oh actually one thing i do like they have curly fries everything else though could live without could live without it um, i forgot totally to mention that when you have a meal plan you can go to certain restaurants then there's another cafeteria place that's not the calf it's called 939 which has a little bit better food with the meal plan you do have other options you would just have to find out um what other places you could go to so keep that in mind you could go out since berkeley is right next to newberry there are a lot of options if you want mediterranean food greco is amazing there's going to be a lot of american food boston runs on duncan god knows why miami runs on starbucks and other good coffee shops that are not duncan the coffee is mid <sighs> the coffee is mid bro i don't get it i don't get how boston runs on duncan i really don't get it good for them they're running business and they're making money but wow i'm really confused these are definitely first world problems i actually love that boston has a ton of little coffee shops everywhere first of all there's tate boston should run a tate there's cafe nero there's pavement blank street coffee love that place the coffee shops are cool i think things are overpriced over there you go to a coffee shop somehow you spent like 36 dollars and all you got was like a coffee and, and like a croissant for the city the boston public library if you ever need to study i would recommend studying there they have like a new section and an old section the old section is like quiet it looks like a museum honestly and then the new section like they record radio news something news the isabella gardner museum the mfa the ica the boston public garden which is connected to the boston commons in terms of church if you go to church of course i'd say look for a church before you even get to boston gym wise on campus people can use a gym in berkeley but honestly sometimes it's not big enough so most students either go to the ymca money wise there's a Planet Fitness like right next to Berkeley. $10 a month. If you're like really like a gym person, the Berkeley one is all right. It's like a, it's like a simple one. Kind of like the ones they put in hotels. Is it safe? Can I do what I gotta do? Can I walk at two in the morning? Don't know what you're walking at two in the morning, but girl, if you need to, you know, go to that Symphony Mart and get those Doritos, I get it, I get it. I'm not gonna front with you. I'm not gonna joke. Because Berkeley is built into the city, there's gonna be a whole bunch of homeless people. There was once a homeless person living in my building and that's when I lived close to Berkeley. There's no like shootings, you know, you're not gonna get shot down in the middle of the street. So at night, I would just say to like, be with somebody you also do have berkeley police like right across from the school and they give you their number like berkeley security so if you ever need anything or you feel unsafe you can stay in school and have the police take you home so they do help a lot with that i do trust berkeley police actually i've had some scenarios where i needed to call them and they definitely helped out do you bring a car unless you live in boston already it's really not worth it you can go everywhere on a train i mean you, if you want to you can go everywhere on an uber but if you're thinking about being cost efficient you can walk there you can bike there there's bike sharing everywhere i would just recommend using public transportation in any form that that would be yeah i wouldn't recommend being bring a car unless going back to gb sometimes you do have to drive like hours away i think if you're doing gb and you're doing it like as a job and you're really really involved in it then bringing a car would be necessary because you would have to like drive far and stuff like that but in terms of like parking parking is horrible in boston driving is horrible in boston so i think this is going to conclude part two i hope this was helpful to somebody i mean let me know if you have any other questions it's gonna be it for this video love you guys so much remember that you're precious precious yeah precious remember that you're special remember that you're chosen remember that you're purposed that's what i meant to say love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video